Hi, my name is Derek with Crop King. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mix Hydro Grow. If you're a large scale grower, it's always best to get a complete water analysis, and Crop King can provide you with a custom fertilizer recipe. If not, we also sell a complete hydroponic fertilizer, which will work with most water sources. Now, we have two different types of Hydro Grow we have Hydro Grow Vine, which is for fruiting crops such as tomatoes, and Hydro Grow Leafy, which is for greens such as lettuce and kale. Uh, both Hydrogo Vine and Hydrogo Leafy are two-part fertilizers, with the second part being calcium nitrate, which is sold separately. This is available in three different sizes. We have one pound, five pounds, and 50 pound containers of it. So there's two different ways that we can mix this. Uh, the first way being to mix the Hydrogo directly into the reservoir, with the instructions being on the label. And then the second way, which is the preferred method, is to mix concentrate and apply it directly to the reservoir, which is what I'm about to show you. Now I'm going to show you how to mix the concentrate for the Hydro Grow Leafy. We're going to start by filling our gallon jugs with water. Uh, warm water works the best, it'll help the Hydro Grow dissolve better. Uh, and the most accurate way to measure the dry fertilizer is by weighing it. So we're going to take the Hydro Grow Leafy, we're going to measure out 13 ounces, and we're going to add it to our concentrate A bottle. Alright, so after we mix that in, we're going to put the cap on, we're going to mix it thoroughly so that all the hydro grill will dissolve. So there's our concentrate A, it's ready to go. Now we're going to do our concentrate B, we're going to add 10 ounces of calcium nitrate. Okay, I'll put our cap on this, mix it up thoroughly. Now our concentrate B is ready to go. Uh, we have a 25 gallon reservoir here. We're going to measure the EC with our Blue Lab combo meter. Our target EC is 1.8. So we're going to add equal parts of concentrate A and B. I'm going to do 30 milliliters at a time. So now that we've reached our target EC of 1.8, the next step would be to adjust the pH. We want that to be between 5.8 and 6.2, and I will demonstrate that to you in our next video. So thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Cheers.